off camera. Um, first things first, what I like to do is to go in to prime my skin. Um, I actually love using this primer. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Um, I always pick up the travel size of it. It lasts me a good two to three months and it's only $12. So I do like picking up the travel size. One day I'll stop being cheap and I'll invest in the <laughs> full size one. But what I do is just to go in and apply that basically to my entire face. I start out in my T-zone area. I guess because, you know, everyone gets oily in their T-zone in their T-zone area, but eventually I'll spread the product out onto my whole face. So I'm just going in to prime my entire face. Um this primer is really good in helping to keep my skin matte throughout the day. And um, I do get really oily in my nose area. So I do go through um throughout the day and just touch up like my nose area with a little powder. But for the most part, this primer really helps to even out my skin, make it a nice smooth canvas for my foundation. And it also helps to just keep me matte throughout the day. So from here, what I do um, is to go in with my foundation. Um, actually, what I would normally do is to go and apply eyelashes. But for the sake of the video, I'll do my lashes um, once I kind of finish my face makeup or once I get to the end of it. So from here I'm just going to go in to apply my foundation. Um, the foundation that I absolutely love and this is why it is just my perfect foundation, a perfect flawless foundation routine. This foundation is the Becca Ultimate Coverage um, Complexion Cream. I featured this foundation in a Try New Makeup video but I never gave it like its own designated video but it definitely deserves it like this gives the most beautiful coverage and finish that i've ever experienced when using a foundation this foundation i believe retails for about 36 or 46 dollars i'm not sure i purchased mine from sephora um, and i am in the shade mink now this is a little bit too gray of an undertone for me but once i do like my entire face it all evens out so beautifully so it does come with the pump which is really good i just go in with about two pumps on each side um, a half a pump on my nose, a half a pump on my forehead, and then just a little bit on my chin area. And then what I do is to go in with a, where's the top? I lost the top. So from there what I do is to go in with a very dense foundation brush. This foundation brush that I'm using I actually purchased from Amazon. It came in like a brush set with other brushes for like $12. And I will order the entire brush set again just so I can get this brush. It's very dense and it helps really good with blending out and buffing out foundation. So I just like to go in with stamping motions on my face. I start out in my cheek areas and kind of work it up underneath my eye. And then along my jawline. And then over my chin as well. Okay, so this is how my skin looks once the foundation is applied. As you can see, that foundation covers up every imperfection that I have on my face. If I have like a pimple like this one right here, I don't know if you can see that, that's sort of um, poking out, that may shine through or that may poke through. But for the most part, for majority of it all, everything is covered up really nicely. Yep. Um, one of my favorite steps in applying a full face is to go in and conceal highlight and conceal using a concealer the concealer that I'm using as always <laughs> is going to be the LA girl pro conceal in the shade fawn absolutely love this concealer I talk about it all the time y'all already know how this goes because it's only three dollars this concealer is absolutely amazing as you can see I just take the concealer starting underneath my eye I don't take it all the way up underneath my eye only because I don't like to add too much concealer right underneath my eye. So I do take it down a little low and when I go in with my beauty blender, I'll actually blend it up. What I do is to go in with that same beauty blender and I'm going to go ahead and blend all of this out. So what I'll do, I'm going to go in and add more concealer because I like a really bright under eye. Okay, so from here I have all of my concealer in place. It looks a little weird, it doesn't look blended, but this is the step um, that's going to help to sort of blend everything together. I'm gonna go in with um, my same foundation brush, not adding any more foundation. And I'm basically gonna just blend out the outer edges of where I added that concealer.
Okay, so from here, I'm going to go in to set where I um, concealed. I'm using the Sasha Buttercup Banana Powder. Taking my same beauty blender, and I'm going to go ahead and dip that in there like this. And then I actually blow it off some. So I blow some of that powder off. And I just go in to set where I concealed. From here... While that's setting and baking, I am going to go in now. Um, I'll probably, I'll add my eyelashes now at this point and then I'll come back and finish up my face. So I've added my lashes off camera. I've also added bottom liner to my waterline. Um, the eyeliner that I use is just a standard eyeliner pencil. It's by Wet n Wild in the shade, what color is this? Baby's Got Black. So that's the shade that I use. So as you see, my face is still baking and setting. What I do from here is to go in and bronze my face, um, slash contour. The bronzer powder that I use is by Bobbi Brown. I rave about this all the time. It's absolutely amazing. I'm just gonna go back in with my Beauty Blender and that same Sasha Buttercup powder. And basically, trace out the bottom of that contour. What I do from here is to go in and brush off this excess powder. So I'm using just the flat top powder brush by e.l.f. Absolutely love this brush. Once that's all brushed off, if I look a little ashy, I just go in with my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in that same powder brush. And I'll just go over any place that I apply that Sasha Buttercup powder. And basically all over my face to blend everything out. I'm not going to lie. Everything I do off camera, I'm going to do on camera. I actually go back in with my bronzing powder. And I basically bronze some more. Because I feel like I take away some of the powder when I go over with my face powder. So I just go in to add some more. This step is definitely not needed. I'm just extra guys when it comes to this step okay so what i'm going to do from here is to set my face with setting spray i'm using the urban decay all nighter makeup setting spray i actually set my face twice once i um brush off all of the powder i'll set my face and then i'll set it at the end so i'm just going to go in and set my face now okay and so the highlight that i'm using is going to be by bobby brown this is the highlighting powder in the shade bronze glow just a little bit more this is something new as well that I do I take a little bit more on the brush and I just kind of add it to the center of my forehead when you're in the Sun it gives the perfect highlight the blush that I'm using is by elf absolutely love this blush kit it's in the shade dark um, as always I am going to use the bottom corner shade here can go in again with that flat powder brush not adding any more product to it and I sort of just blend everything together like that so from here what I'll do is set my face again so this is the finished look this is my go-to perfect flawless foundation routine let me know below in my comment section ladies if you have any questions or concerns as always all the products that i mentioned will be listed in my description box so be sure to check that out and until my next video i'll see you all later bye